Hi friends, welcome to Deliciously Jabas. This video will feature the making of an unbelievably moist and flavorful grilled chicken burger at home, which is very easy and needs no expertise in cooking. It's a quick to grab meal and can be had any time in the day. To begin with, cut one onion into roundels and separate them into rings like this and place them in a bowl. Add a tablespoon of vinegar to that and quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix this until the vinegar is coated to all the onion rings. And let this sit for half an hour. Meanwhile, in a small mixing bowl, take half a cup of mayonnaise and you can also use flavored mayonnaise. I am using both classic and flavored version. Then add a tablespoon of red chili sauce, a tablespoon of tomato ketchup, a tablespoon of crushed pepper, and a cup of shredded lettuce. You can also use shredded cabbage instead. Mix until they are well combined. And for the written recipe, please visit my blog at www.deliciouslyjabas.com. Now keep this dip aside. Next, in a food processor or a blender jar, add 10 to 12 cloves of garlic, two roots of roughly chopped coriander leaves, half a kilo of boneless chicken that's cleaned and washed thoroughly, a tablespoon of chili powder, quarter teaspoon of crushed pepper, and salt as per your preference. Grind them coarsely in the mixer grinder. Vegetarians can go with my aloo tikki patty. Please click on the i button for the recipe. Look, the chicken is ground perfectly. Now, transfer this mixture to a bowl. You know, a chicken burger patty can be made in two ways. One, you can use the ground chicken and the other, you can use the chicken breast in the fried form. I am going in with ground chicken version as it is the healthier option. Take a teaspoon of oil in your palm and rub both your palms together to coat it with oil like this. Take some ground chicken, roll it into a ball like this. Wow, perfect. Press this gently and make a patty like this. The patty should neither be thick nor thin. Arrange it on a plate. You know, these ground chicken will make a juicy and moist, flavorful patty. Grease the grill pan with ghee or butter. I am going with ghee today. Place the patty and cook on a high flame for 2 minutes on one side. Then flip it and cook for another 2 minutes on a high flame on the other side. Try this recipe in your kitchen and share your experiences in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to hear your experiences. Flip it again. Cover and cook on a medium flame for 5 minutes on one side and another 5 minutes on the other side. Our chicken patty is almost done. You know, ground chicken can be substituted with any protein of your choice and if you are a vegetarian, you can go in with paneer or aloo. To make it extra rich, I am placing cheese slices on each of the patties. Cover and cook. While the cheese is melting, have the burger buns slit into halves. You know, burgers are one of the most popular meals around the world. 
that can be enjoyed by people of all age groups. Chicken burger needs no introduction. It's juicy and spicy patty placed between buns with some delicious condiments makes it drool worthy. Let's check our patties. The cheese has beautifully melted. Transfer the cheese filled patties to a plate. Please hit the thumbs up button if you want to see french fries recipe video. In the same pan, place the cut side of the burger buns on the pan. Roast this for 3 to 4 minutes on a medium flame. The best part about burgers is that you can add whatever fillings and patties you want along with cheese, mayonnaise and vegetables. Remove the grilled buns from the heat. Let's arrange the burger. I am arranging a lettuce bed to serve the burger. You can serve it the way you want. Place the bottom layer of the bun. Then the mayo dip. Then the chicken patty. Also spread some tomato sauce on the top layer of the bun. Now cover the patty. You know, you can prepare this burger in just half an hour. You can serve this hot with some fries or chips on the side. You know, I feel there's something missing. Oops, I forgot the pickled onion. Place a few pickled onions on the patty and cover it with the bun. If you're new to my channel, do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. I'll meet you with another delicious recipe next week. Until then, it's Jabba signing off. Bye-bye.